Hi, this is Marina Pachotto. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Neuroscience. This is a video about the editorial process that your manuscripts go through. The Journal of Neuroscience submission website is freely accessible to authors, but the review process is only seen by editorial board members. To demystify the review process, this video will describe each facet of the review and editorial process and illustrate the interface that editors use when handling each submitted manuscript. On the Research Report Submission page, you can see all of the manuscript types published in the journal. Before uploading a full submission, an author can upload their op abstract through the pre-submission inquiry link without paying a submission fee. The abstract will then go to a senior editor who will either make a decision on their own or consult with a reviewing editor about whether the paper is likely to be sent out for review. If so, the senior editor will let the authors know and they can proceed to the full submission process. Lastly, Journal Club and Symposium manuscripts must be solicited by the editors. When the corresponding author submits the manuscript using our online system, all the authors receive an email confirming the submission. The paper then passes through two initial steps. It's assigned to an appropriate senior editor who is responsible for the overall handling of the manuscript. In parallel, the central office determines whether the manuscript meets all of the submission and formatting requirements. The senior editor looks over the manuscript and then assigns it to the most appropriate reviewing editor, who will select potential reviewers. In many journals, the reviewing editor would be called the handling editor. The reviewing editor is selected based primarily on areas of expertise, but we also take into account the author's preference, any conflicts of interest, and the workload of each editor. In a minority of cases, an editor may question whether the paper is appropriate for the Journal of Neuroscience. If there are reservations about the suitability of the study for the journal, the senior or the reviewing editor will open a consultation session with two or more additional editors, each of whom evaluates the manuscript and then provides comments to the consultation session. If there is a consensus that this paper is not suitable for the Journal of Neuroscience, then the manuscript is rejected without external review. The reasons for rejection are spelled out by the senior editor in the decision letter. For example, a clinical case report, a paper that fails to provide insight into a neurobiological mechanism, or a paper that the editors believe provides relatively incremental addition to the literature would likely be rejected without external review. In contrast, if there's not a consensus among the editors, then the paper is sent out to external reviewers. The reviewing editor then examines the manuscript and identifies potential reviewers using several search strategies. These include public databases of the scientific literature, as well as the manuscript bibliography. We also consult our internal database, which tracks the timeliness and the ratings of prior reviews for each potential reviewer. Reviewers suggested by the authors are considered, but are not always selected. It's essential that reviewers meet the criteria for not having a conflict of interest, and that can be defined in several ways. The conflict of interest policy for both authors and reviewers can be found in the instructions for authors on the Journal of Neuroscience website. To expedite the review process for authors, we typically invite more reviewers than the two that are required. Thus, a willing reviewer may not be needed. If a reviewer is unable to evaluate a manuscript, we're grateful for a rapid notification so we can move on and find another reviewer. We're also grateful for suggestions for alternative reviewers who may have good knowledge of the subject area of the manuscript. A reviewer should recuse themselves from review if they have a current collaboration or any other conflict that could preclude unbiased review. The reviewers are asked to return feedback within 14 days. Editors try to expedite the completion of reviews while recognizing that reviewing is voluntary and that reviewers have many competing demands on their time. That said, we try to get a decision back to authors within 30 days of submission of their manuscript, and we can't do that until the reviews are completed. Each reviewer assigns separate ratings for the significance and technical or methodological strengths of the manuscript. Both ratings are important in the overall review of the paper and are taken into account by the editors. When reviews are complete, the reviewing editor reads through each review and forms an opinion about the strengths and weaknesses of the manuscript. Well-justified reviewer comments are especially helpful to both the editors and the authors. 
In cases where the reviewers disagree on the importance of the work, the reviewing editor can choose to open a consultation session with the reviewers in a blinded fashion. If the views of the reviewers are highly divergent, or if there isn't a consensus after a consultation and the editors don't feel qualified to discriminate between them, a third external reviewer may be appropriate. However, the expertise of the reviewing or senior editor will often be sufficient to make a final decision. The options for recommendation by the reviewing editor are to accept it as is, to revise with review just by the senior editor, revise with review by both the senior editor and the reviewing editor, revise and re-review by external reviewers, reject with no option to resubmit, and to reject with no option to resubmit but with a recommendation for consideration by eNeuro. At the end of this process, the reviewing editor writes a short justification for the recommendation to the senior editor and has the option of writing additional comments directed to the author. Upon receiving the recommendation from the reviewing editor, the senior editor examines the manuscript, reads the reviews, and considers the reviewing editor's comments. If the senior editor's judgment is in line with that of the reviewing editor, which is the most common outcome, the senior editor makes the decision and sends the letter to the authors. In some cases, a senior editor may open a consultation session with the reviewing editor to discuss the decision in more detail. Once a decision is reached, the senior editor composes the letter to the authors, which may highlight specific reasons for a rejection or comments that would be most critical to address if authors prepare a revised manuscript. For those manuscripts that are rejected from the Journal of Neuroscience, there are two procedures that may expedite publication elsewhere. First, some manuscripts may be appropriate for consideration by eNeuro. Some decision letters will make this suggestion. In addition, the Journal of Neuroscience is part of the Neuroscience Peer Review Consortium, which allows reviews to be sent directly from the journal to another consortium journal at the author's requests. In some cases, the authors may feel strongly that the decision to reject the manuscript is based on significant reviewer error. In such cases, the corresponding author may file an appeal of the decision. When an appeal is filed, the senior and reviewing editors consult, going over the manuscript, the external reviews, and the rationale for the appeal. The primary reason to file an appeal is serious scientific error on the part of a reviewer. If an appeal is granted, the paper may be sent immediately to one or more additional reviewers, or the author may be allowed to submit a fully revised manuscript. In preparing a resubmission, authors should provide a detailed summary of the changes to the manuscript that address each of the e-reviewer's concerns. It's likely that a revised manuscript could be sent back to entirely new reviewers for additional evaluation. Note that if you prepare a manuscript that contains any data that was previously submitted, you should contact the previous senior editor before submitting as a new manuscript. A new feature is that the accepted manuscript is published online within days. Accepted manuscripts are copy edited and proofs are sent to the corresponding author within two weeks. The authors correct and return the proofs within 24 hours. Authors are encouraged to refer to these resources before submission or revision of a manuscript. All the instructions for the review process are available online through the Journal of Neuroscience Submission website. Thank you for listening, and please let us know if you have any questions or suggestions. For specific questions about the submission process or the review process, please send us an email at jn.sfn.org.